Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, symmetrical short Irish chain quilt panel. So I've got some uh, Ruthann square patches here. There's 120 in a pack, which will give you the ability to do 30 uh, complete mandalas. And this is how the material comes. So this is so you can get this symmetrical effect here. Regular fabrics aren't symmetrical. So uh, you can see there's cutting lines on them. So I've just cut everything out, out very neatly um, into little squares. And then here's a, a little animation of how the uh, short, this little short Irish chain pattern goes together so that you can see where we're headed. So these uh, mandala patches are symmetrical across one diagonal axis. So you can turn them and you can get different effects. Um, so you can see they twist and turn and you can make different patterns out of them. So I've laid my uh, patches out now how I want to use them. The more observant among you will realise that there's a couple of problems with the, the way I've laid this out. There's a couple of faults here, but I do figure it out eventually. <laughs> um, so when you've got them all uh, laid out, I'm just going to use a permanent marker pen just to put a dot on one edge so that I know exactly which edge needs to be sewn next to which edge when I take them over to the sewing machine. So I just carefully mark them all out like this. And uh, then I'm going to take them over to the sewing machine. Okay, so I'm piling them up in order. And then I'm going to take them over to my sewing machine and I'm stitching them together. The uh, seams on these mandala patches are exactly the right width just for you to use the edge of your stamper foot as a guide and get your stitches in exactly the right place. So they're designed these to um, be exactly right if you use about um, a millimetre over into the pattern um, and then they will match up exactly. So I'm just going to continue all the way up uh, and make strips of this design because when you're machine piecing this is by far and away the easiest way to go. Just make strips and then sew the strips together. So we're just going to keep uh, stitching and stitching till we've got a, a collection of long strips. And you can start to see in a minute how the pattern's coming together. So there, that's our, our first strip done. I continue with the other strip. You can see how the, the patches are, are meeting up now and forming these mandalas. So I'm going to do the same trick again with a permanent marker pen, just marking uh, one edge so that I know which edge to sew where. We don't get into a pickle when we take it over to the machine. I'm just going to continue in exactly the same fashion there. Um, so we're going to press these seams. Now when you're pressing them you want to press these seams in alternate directions as you move up your design. So if you press the first one with the seams to the left you want to press the second one with the seams to the right and carry on like that and that way you reduce bulk when you sew these um, pieces together. So you can see there now how these pieces are starting to, uh, starting to work out and you can see that I've pressed the seams in different directions. So I'm just going to give uh, a little haircut here to get rid of these stray threads otherwise they can sometimes poke out on the the right side of your project and make it look a little bit untidy so clip off any excess threads um, and then pin them. So you want to pin so that the seams are obviously lined up in the right place and you can see there now how having the seams in the, flowing in opposite directions will help to reduce bulk for you when you stitch them together. So just going to keep going, uh, pinning, and then stitch them up on the machine. So if you put your pins in at a 90 degree angle, uh, you don't have to remove them before you stitch. Uh, then just press the seam open when that's done. You can start to see how these uh, mandalas now are appearing on the fabric. So this is the Ruth Ann uh, design. There are many uh, different colours on the mandalapatch.com website if you want to go and have a look. And if you've not done uh, patchwork before, this is a great way to start because you don't need to buy hundreds of different colours of material. Everything you know you, you need is uh, in one piece of fabric there and you can just cut them and spin them and make any design that you want to. They're great fun. Okay, so again, with the, just keep pinning these uh, strips together, stitching them. You can start to see now how the design is, is coming out. There we are, 
so keep going with my next one so a piece of this material uh, currently is £14.99 um, I can't remember what that works out to be in dollars I think it's about eighteen ninety nine something in dollars there we are and uh, that's our first piece I'm going to do four of these and stick them together so that you can see what they look like and uh, we're pretty much done with this now this is going to be a cushion panel and uh, there'll be a video on quilting this at some point in the future that's what they all look like when they're put together thanks for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel and we'll be in touch with something new soon bye